Can I please have the day off for eat? You want to take the day off to eat? I mean, I gave you a lunch break. Is that not enough? No, not eat. Eat. It's after Ramadan. And when is that? I... Don't know yet. So you're asking me to give you a day off and you don't even know when. Look, once they sight the moon, I'll get back to you, okay? Look, Mohammed, when I hired you, I thought you were a Muslim, not a werewolf. Boss, I really don't appreciate you talking to me like that. You haven't eaten nothing for a month, and I don't know if you realize, but I eat spell backwards is die because you're gonna die from star rate. Look, whether or not you give me a day off, I'm not showing up. I quit. <laughs> وقال لا غالبا <laughs> it's not funny. Look at the book, man. I'm looking. وقال لا غالبا. وقال لا غالبا. What can غالبا؟ غالبا. 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 Don't mess about. Fatih, do you know what means? Uh, hey, a black person. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fatih. <laughs> this isn't Urdu, it's Arabic, man. What does it mean? It, it, call is different. This is this means he said. What's wrong with you? What actually? <laughs> <coughs> Sheikh, why do you look so cute on TV? <laughs> what part of the room did this come from? Oh, I had it upside down. Oh, okay. Uh, actually... Sheikh, <laughs> you can read that. What does it say? Do all Muslims have to wear a beard? Do all Muslims have to wear a beard? Actually, no. Not the girls. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You wouldn't donate to the masjid? No, if you actually take this one dollar, according to my calculation, you can actually invest in a date NFT and make 300% yield, and then take that money and actually reinvest it into the masjid. And then you could take 10% and give it to Fatima, and maybe she'd actually like you. And maybe you could take 5% and use it on beard oil so the shake stops roasting you. That would be a good investment. Mm, yeah, yes, sir. That's the guy they kicked out for sneaking into the sister's side. No, that was a conspiracy uh, by the Shia. Hey, yo, bro, did you hear what just happened? Yo, what's up? What happened? You're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. That child is here. He even said Catherine on his forehead and everything. Bro, are you serious? Just because it says Catherine on his forehead means nothing. We don't know what's in his heart. Bro, what the heck are you even talking about? You sound like a sandbag with extra chromosome. Bro, let's go. Bro, make fun of me all you want, but I'm not judging him. And go where? What do you mean go where? We're going to Mecca or Medina. Bro, I'm not going, bro. You can go. Bro, I'm not judging. Why would I judge him? You're not going. Boy, that's your loss. I'm dipping. And I always make this joke. May Allah forgive me. If we were to enter Jannah, and then they'll introduce us. This is Salam ibn al-Aqwa. Salam ibn al-Aqwa, one of the greatest warriors at the time of the Prophet and the best sportsman ever with stamina much bigger and, and stronger than marathon runners. MashaAllah, don't know, never heard of him. This is Abu Talha. And this is uh, so-and-so. And this is, I said, guys, I don't know any of those. I can't recognize those in Jannah. Can we take a tour to hell? The moment you go to hell, MashaAllah, I know everybody here. Homies, what's happening? A'udhu <laughs> Billah. I feel yeah, related. I know everyone here. So this is a problem. If you're gonna go to Jannah, you need to know who your neighbors are. Are you met her requirements? It's gonna have to be 50k, um, a little bit of gold, actually a little bit, and then it's gonna have to be a G wagon. Subhanallah. A sister will ask for a preposterous amount when it comes to her mother. But if it came to a cooking competition between her and my cats, I know my cats would do better. Subhanallah. She will ask for high numbers like 50k and 100k. But little did she know, if she wants to find a man like that, she will continue to pray all day. Because that man can never be me. Subhanallah. Get out of here! May Allah help the woman of this ummah 
and more importantly, may Allah provide for the men of this ummah. Ameen. Pencils down, guys. Listen up. We will not be doing any more work for the remainder of the school day. We will be hosting the biggest pizza party that the school has ever seen. No half slices this year. Full pizza slices with snacks and drinks included, guys. Listen, after that, we will be having an ice cream party for dessert. Yes, Muhammad, I see you raising your hand. You're fasting. It's Ramadan. <laughs> Who? Ask, because we don't care. Listen, you should have thought about that, guys, before he stopped us from ordering pepperoni pizza last pizza party. After that, guys, we'll be making our way outside where there will be real NFL and real NBA players hosting basketball and football games. Yes, Muhammad, I see you raising your hand again. You're going to be tired. You're fasting. You don't have energy. We still do not care. Listen, guys, after that, we're going to be making our way down to the auditorium where young boy never broke again and Drake will be performing live. Yes, Muhammad, I see you raising your hand again. You can't listen to music. Buddy, it's your Ramadan, not ours. We do not care. Listen, guys, after that, Ice Spice will be shooting a music video live with her friends. Are you guys ready? سبيل الدموع سبيل مري على جبل سعادتي وأفكاري طويل الشوق يبقى في اغترابي قول قول الصوارم كي تسترد المظالم حتى ال لأجاريهم قلت ظاهر ما فيهم فبدوت شخصا آخر ليكن يومك للشعب ودادا ليكن حبك للأرض مدا يا من صليت بكل الأنبياء يا من في قلبك رحمة للناس يا من ألفت قلوبا بالإسلام يا حبيبي يا شافعي يا رسول الله بأمي وأبي فديتك سيدي صلاة وسلام عليك يا نبي حبيبي يا محمد يو 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 السلام عليكم بابا هيز أمريكان أو ما بعد what up, my name? F fool, F fool. <coughs> no shoes in the house, brother. You guys don't do this in the American household, no? It's not that serious. I'm gonna shut up. What else don't you guys do? Why be the F? Dad, what are you doing? Party, girl, club. Oh my God. I I know here school, mathematics, social media, social studies. That's all you want to talk about. Why don't you go hang out with your cousin Hamouda or something? Huh? I had a jahish, Mister. Time to leave. Yalla. You guys have bacon bites? Huh? Bacon bites, like the bacon cut up into pieces? Hamouda, I'm gonna count to three. If he's not leave my face by three, I'm gonna turn him to bacon. Today I'm gonna be demonstrating how to defend yourself if your mom ever comes swinging at you with a sandal. This right here is my brother, he's gonna be playing my mom. So let's say you did something wrong, right? And she swings at you, pop! Now you have wrist control. What you want to do now is move the trajectory of the sandal away from your face and then pivot inward. From here, you can either break your arm. What I like to do is turn it around. Pop. Now she's disarmed and you have full control. Hey! Show me. Okay, guys, um, this is my actual mom. Uh, let's do this one more time. So let's say she swings at you, right? So people are telling me that the samosa and my passion and the love for food was the main reason I found my deen. You know what else is funny? Last year, Ramadan, okay, that was my first Ramadan. It was okay, it was okay, it was all right. So one of my buddies told me that you can get free food after Maghrib at any masjid. And I was like, say less. So for the entire 30 days of Ramadan, I was just going to the masjid because it's free food. But of course, you know, I, I increased my, you know, I improved my prayer, of course. You know what else is funny? Tarawi. You're standing there for two, three hours. Praying like 12 rakats or whatever. 
And and someone told me there's snacks right after Tarawih. So I was like, say less. And after praying the whole 12 rakats or more or two, three hours just being there, I'm awarded with a cookie and a milk. Different types of people on Eid. First, we have the dad. As you can see, they're always in a grumpy mood trying to rush everybody outside the house. I genuinely feel bad for the fathers because they're always awake 15 hours early, but everybody in the family wants him to be late. Especially the daughter. The daughter will use special makeup techniques that have not been used since 1963, spending approximately 33 years getting ready. The daughter and the dad are usually best friends, but not on Eid, as she will be the number one victim of the father's yelling after the wife. I guess the time spent on the makeup is really worth it. Not like I would know, because I always lower my gaze, alhamdulillah. Next, we have the Eid money beggars. They go from uncle to uncle begging for Eid money, which is okay when you're like 7 years old, but some of y'all be like 20 asking for Eid money, like get a life and a job grandpa next we have this super excited kid for eid he goes to sleep on the corner of his bed because his clothes is occupying 70 percent of the space and as soon as it's morning time he's ready before you can even blink he's the father's favorite on eid because he's always ready very fast everyone should be like him lastly we have the super rich eid uncle he is very popular with all the kids plays a little hard to get pretending like he doesn't have money but at the end of the day he gives the kids his whole wallet and the kids live happily ever after